Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about how a lot of people have a problem chipping and you know we've got all this loft 60 degrees I use a 58 I have a narrow bounce on my narrow sole on my wedge I think you know when I think of bounce I think of if I'm in a swimming pool and I've got a balloon in my hand and I push that balloon down into the water it wants to come back up that's how I think of bounce so I kind of want to use the leading edge of my wedge but then I want the back side of it to push me back out. I don't want it to keep digging down. Now I see a lot of, a lot of amateurs around the club that have so much trouble with chipping right now. And I worked with a guy yesterday, and the main thing we talked about was the setup. We kind of have two center of gravities in the golf swing, even all the way down to chipping. There's one lower center of gravity right here kind of stabilizes the whole lower part of your body and this upper, which is <clears throat> right under the button of your shirt here. The bottom one's easy to get stable because it's heavy and it's down in your legs. But this upper one, your spine bends two ways. It bends sideways and it bends forward and backwards. So this is, this is the one I think that causes more people trouble chipping than anything, this upper center of gravity. Because we grip the club with one hand under the other, if we grip the clubs like this, level, both center of gravities would be on top of one another. But because the right hand's below the left, this one sits back. And that's, that's correct with a driver, all the way through the bag. But when you get down on chipping, you get a lot of people that are trying to chip and they get this center of gravity back just a little bit. And if they go any more, they get that stub or they blade it. And you know, watching a lot of great chippers like Seve Ballesteros and just tons of guys, they they really manage, you know, when we would copy guys like Seve, they really manage this upper center of gravity. So I, I worked with one of my friends yesterday. We got the lower center. I put that upper center in front. So I've got I've got this this feel right here. I've jacked that right side up. How do, I, how do I get that right side up like that? Bend this left leg a little bit and I keep this one a little straighter. Feels kind of awkward at first, but it gives me that sensation I'm going, I'm going downhill. So when I set up, I get that high right side. So now I'm a little downhill. I mean, I, I sort of feel like I'm, looks like Jordan Spieth. He sets up with that high right side for chipping. He's a great chipper. So now I'm going downhill and that center of gravity, the upper center of gravity is in front to start with. And if I do tilt back just a little bit, I'm still, I'm still okay, they're still stacked. And we'll do that from the other view in a minute. But, you know, if I was gonna demonstrate Sebi, you know, I'd, I'd feel like if he was setting up, he'd be like this and he would set up over here. And he, if I was gonna copy him, he'd look he looked like that. When you get that center of gravity forward, you can go around it. Now you couldn't do that with a five iron, you'd hit it this high off the ground. But we've got so much loft, we've got to, we've got to take care of hitting the ball solid first. So my routine, I walk in, got, I know where that lower is, I'm gonna slide it back a little bit and I'm gonna push that upper above. Keep my shaft pretty neutral, it's got a little bit of lean on it. So now when I come through the ball, I can feel like my shoulders are more level to the ground. You can see that there's just no divot there. You know, the big, the big no-no in chipping is the side tilt and then a little bit more side tilt and you just, you're lost. There's nowhere to go. So I'm up on the right side, push the center back, get my head forward, shoulder up, so I can get going downhill. And when people say, you know, use the bounce of the club, you know, I always, I, I get confused when I, when I hear, so I'm just using the bounce of the club. 
All I think of as a bounce of the club is, just like what I said about the balloon, it's just stopping me from digging. I mean, I wouldn't want to do this with a pitching wedge because it would keep, it keep going down into the ground, but I've got a narrow, pretty narrow bounce on this. This is a 58, says 60. Pretty narrow. I want that back edge high so that when I, when I do hit the front edge of it, the back's stopping me from digging into the ground. So what are the two, two biggest things? We've got, got your wedge, and then it's a setup. My friend who I was working with yesterday, he's been a, chip, a good chipper his whole life. And he said, I, and all of a sudden he can't do it. And we, we just stacked all these back up and he was able to get that feel again of going through and around. I'll hit a couple from the other, other way. Maybe I can do it right here. So from this view, maybe I ought to tell that the right side's up a little bit. Again, we're not worried about this sort of downhill feel because we have so much loft. I can always open the face, you know. It, yes, it's a, it's, a low, it's a low ball hitting setup, but I have a lot of loft. Center of gravity. I want that center of gravity lower. I want the upper in front. So as I come around the corner, they're stacked. What I don't want, can't have that. Saturday is considered moving day, and you can play along on the SG Tour. It's a one-day stroke play competition where you select a team of four players to shoot the lowest scores of the day. Will you make big moves? Download the SG Tour Golf Gaming app on iOS now.